In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In the waters of baptism, Charles died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him in eternal glory. Number 777, Here I Am, Lord. Number 777. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, as our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened. May our hope of resurrection of your departed ser servant Charles also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us now be seated for our first reading. reading from Isaiah. You whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and summoned from
from its far off places. You whom I have called my servant, whom I have chosen and will not cast off. Fear not, I am with you. Be not dismayed, I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you and uphold you with my right hand of justice. The word of the Lord. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. God is my shepherd, so nothing shall I want. I rest in the meadows of faithfulness and love. I walk by the quiet waters of peace. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears from death into life though i should wander the valley of death i fear no evil for you are at my side your rod and your staff my comfort and my hope. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Surely your kindness and mercy follow me. All the days of my life, I will dwell in the house of my God forevermore. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Second reading, a reading from the second letter to Paul to Timothy. As for me, the hour has come for me to be sacrificed. The time is here for me to leave this life. I have done my best in the race. I have run the full distance. I have kept the faith. Now the prize of victory is waiting for me, the crowd of the righteousness, which is the Lord. The righteousness judge will give me on that day, and not only to me, but to all those who wait with love for him to appear. The Lord stayed with me and gave me strength, and the Lord will rescue me from all evil and take me safely into his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. To Mary and Charlie's kids and all the family and friends gathered together today, on behalf of all of us at St. Teresa, please know of our continued prayers and sympathies for you and um, our continued prayers for Charlie during this difficult time. And I hope it's a consolation for you to know that throughout this week we have been praying for uh, Charlie at all of our, our daily Masses. And as we come together today, oftentimes we, we can look at the titles that we hold throughout our lives, titles that have brought many of you here. Charlie was a son, he was a brother, he was a friend, a loving husband of 54 years, a father and a grandfather. He served his country in the army, he was an accountant, he was a faithful volunteer here at St. Teresa, he was smart, he was funny, he was the life of the, the party, always a friend, always knew somebody. And in a certain uh, way, even more important than all those other titles, what brings us together today is that he was a Christian. He was a Catholic who we know was loved and marked by that love from his very baptism. Now I had the, the privilege of anointing Charlie not long ago at Christ Hospital. And when I went to anoint him, I asked him if he would like to receive the Eucharist. And Charlie's eyes lit up, and he said, yeah, that's the most important thing. Charlie had a deep faith and love of our Lord, and our Lord was with Charlie, continues to be with him. Our readings that you have all chosen today speak about the strength that our faith provides us. We recognize that sometimes in life we don't know where we are going, just like Thomas, that confusion at the times where we have lost, where we mourn, perhaps we have felt that confusion within our own life. But our Lord reminds us so beautifully, He is the way, the truth, and the life. When we set our hearts on Christ, no matter what adversity, no matter what challenges we face, we know that He will be there to guide us. Now throughout this funeral liturgy, we have so many different symbols of baptism. Because for all of us, our baptism is an important, the most important happening in our life. Because it introduces us into God's family. Our Lord marks us by that love and He gives us the promise of eternal life. And so it's fitting that at the funeral liturgy we are reminded by that. From the very beginning, Charlie was sprinkled with holy water. He was covered with the white garment, just as he was at baptism. At the center of our church stands that Easter candle, which when he was baptized, he was given light from that candle. And lastly, we walked as his family and friends forward with him. Now at his baptism, he was first greeted at the doors of the church, and his family processed through the church. It's a symbolism that represents our whole life from coming from the world to where we are promised the eternal banquet. 
And yet we know that he physically walked that aisle so many times. He walked that aisle with the very people that are in this church today. With the very people within his mind and his heart, if not physically. Carrying with him those cares that he brought into this church. The worries, but also the joys. And as he walked that aisle, both physically and symbolically, we know that he never walked alone. He was there with the support of his family, with the community, and most importantly, with our Lord Jesus Christ. So how beautiful it is that we walk this aisle one last time with our brother. And as we walk this aisle, we know that we have that same support of our family and this community and of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so my brothers and sisters, we gather together today. We recognize it is a sad day, it is a day of loss. But we are able to have hope and consolation because we know that the love of our Lord is powerful. That the love of our Lord has been with Charlie throughout his life. When he was at his very best and sharing in the many joys and when he was struggling and found adversity, Christ was with him. Christ will be with all of us as we move forward and as we remember, as we commend our brother to his care, and we pray for all who gather together today. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for his church. Confident that the Lord hears our prayers, we lift up our prayers and needs this day. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. With love, we lift up Charlie, a man of deep faith who exemplified the model of a devoted husband, father and grandfather. Now that he has been freed from all his limitations, may he now rest and rejoice in the presence of God's eternal love and glory. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. With trust, we lift up all those who have gone before us and all of us who are still on our journey. May we one day share in the joy of being together again in the dwelling place that the Lord has prepared for us. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. With concern, we lift up all those who are sick or dying or who have lost a loved one. May their pain bring God's comfort their discouragement bring his strength, and their loneliness bring his friendship. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Bless the caregivers, doctors, and nurses who cared for Charlie. Lord, be with them as they continue to care for the sick. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the memory of Charlie's laughter, joy of life, optimistic spirit and caring love sustain the family and ease the pain of their loss. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now be seated for the preparation of the altar. Number 828, make me a channel of your peace, number 828.
Make me a channel of your peace Where there is hatred, let me bring your love Where there is injury or pardon, Lord And where there's doubt, true faith in you Make me a channel of your peace Where there's despair in life, let me bring hope Where there is darkness, only light And where there's sadness, ever joy Oh, Master, grant that I may never see so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned, in giving of ourselves that we receive, and in dying that we're born to eternal life. Sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servant Charles may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, 
our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Charles Borromeo, with St. Teresa, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, <clears throat> advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Dennis, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Charles, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you are God as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we
we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now. now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Number 930, taste and see. Number 930. I 
will bless the Lord at all times. Praise shall always be on my lips. My soul shall glory in the Lord. For God has been so good to me. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Of the Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us all praise God's name. I call the Lord who answered me. From all my troubles I was set free. and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord, of the Worship the Lord, all you people. You're one for nothing if you ask. Taste and see that the Lord is good. In God we need put all our trust. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your servant Charles, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace, through Christ our Lord. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again, when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. we commend our brother in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Charles in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. Number 691, on eagle's wings. Number 691. 